Welcome back to the fifth week of the Copper Cup. So we've got one of the greatest casters probably of all time. But enough about me. We've got Lucas and we've got Ruben. What, what are we expecting today? Um, I'm not sure. Haven't seen Goofy Goobers play yet. But um, we've seen Woof play and they dominated last week. But they're without Tebs this week. So the it, might be di- yeah, it might be different this time. Ruben? Any thoughts, Ruben? No, I have no thoughts at the moment. I really want to see how it plays out. Just and really want to get into the game. High expectations for both. So. I'm expecting a lot of MA70 play again, hopefully. We saw a lovely clip last time in Small Tower on this same exact map, so hopefully we'll get to see more of that this week. Don't think I was in it last week, would I? No, he wasn't. That's had, probably why it wasn't had, a very good stream. Yeah, we had this, like, you know, we wanted to help out a smaller streamer, a smaller caster, you know, give him a big break. For, for the second time. Yeah. Give him a bit of experience. Might even be the third time. I think he was he did for a Rocky League once. And he did. He sure covered lo- for you because sh- he was dying. I'm sure loads of people watched that. Yeah. <laughs> too many, if anything. Must have crashed. Yeah, just the two, I think. So what, what about last week? What happened last week? Give us a, Give me a recap. So, Woof, they were against fellow K9 players on Meow. Uh, I think the comparison is pretty obvious, but Worth dominated Meow. It wasn't even a fair fight. It really was like taking candy from a baby. But this time... You've got a lot of experience with that, don't you? I leave that to you. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, We'll start just after this introduction video. See you after this. Do you know what an artist and a sniper have in common? Details. Like when a touch of color is out of place. When a shadow does not match with its surroundings. Or when a shape is not where it is supposed to be. The only difference is the stakes. Mine are higher. And we're just going to have a quick look at the map bands, see uh, how this is going to play out. As you can see, our first map, Oregon, again, clearly a favourite of theirs. We're clearly a big fan of that. Then after that, we'll be going to Cafe, a map we haven't seen so far in this group. I'm not sure if we've seen it at all so far in the tournament. So it'll be uh, interesting to see here. Got Villas to the side if needed. Should be an interesting game. Three great maps. Yeah. Probably my three favourite maps. I'm a big fan of Cafe because our producer hates it. Does he? Can't go wrong with it. That's that's definitely my favourite map then. Just out of spite for him. Yeah. Just for him delaying our stream. You know, setting us behind, making me miss my train. <laughs> now that's what I'm most annoyed about. I'm missing out on sleep. So I, I feel yeah, the pain. You can always catch up on sleep. You can't. You can't run after the drain. You can if you're fast enough. Yeah, but I, 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 you know, I'm like, who's fast? I'm like Tyson Hill. Exactly. He's fast, but you know, he's not like he's not like the Usain Bolt of fast. It looks like we'll be going into the ban phase now. And Goofy Goobers are banning first. like a sledge ban, you know, denying that soft destruction, trying to deny a bit of control from the attackers and whatnot. What do you think about that ban, Lucas? Uh, very strange, to be sure. Not sure what the purpose of it was. Had Logan Paul? <laughs> is no, it's not. Ban? Is that not why it's good ma- Is that not why he's not a maverick? No, no, no. Okay. No, I don't believe that's why. I don't know, maybe he's just a massive fan of uh, of Siege. I mean, I think Maverick came out before Logan Paul was big. Yeah, exactly, that's why I, I'm just going to stop there. <laughs> and then we have the mirror ban, you know, quite standard. She is quite annoying, so not too surprising. 
One that you don't like playing? No, I like playing her. I don't really playing like playing against. against. Yeah, she's quite annoying. She holds a lot of controls. Oh, not them burning my good girl Azami. Damn. We love to see her walls and whatnot. Definitely some very strange bands. Haven't seen, I don't know if I've ever seen a sledge band. The most default opera you could play in this game, really. I mean, I've seen a couple. He can be quite annoying, you know, with the vertical play and just really being able to control the map from the attacker's side. That oh, scary ass Ash. I'm not expecting Woof to take this game particularly seriously, but Goofy Goof is on the other hand. Your bombs from being they might be taking this game very seriously because this is the first game where they're going to need to be good if they're going to have a good job of getting out. If they beat Woof, they should have every try to get out of the group and make it to playoffs. We have the Legion set down there. We have a drone denial with the meat. You can see the shotgun coming out of this. We can see play the roof and take the short range shot. Attackers are on the attack side. We can see quite a fast team comp, it seems. You know, with the Ash, Yana with the drones trying to get in and get killed. I suspect they've picked those operators just for comfort. Yeah, probably. They have to probably the same for the lead. Maybe even the smoke for the mute. But I think the smoke for the mute are a lot more tactical picks. So those are the kind of operators you don't expect to see on a Tiger. There we go. First kill goes to Ash. Excellent Coming. entry from Potato. Yep. Taking out the Legion. Giving them control of the armory and armory corridor. Pressuring tight now. Oh. There goes the Ash. He was already low on HP, so it's not too surprising. It's a nice trade. Oh, and he gets absolutely taken out. It's a 1v2 now. Should be an easy kill for yeah. Mastercard. Yep. Not against the shotgun, you don't want that. Especially not with Pig's advantage. Yeah. Is that just just time now? Huh? Is that Josh time now? Josh time? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? My, my new fun yeah. fact uh, yeah, 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 segment? Yeah, exactly. Uh, let me think of some. You know, I've, I'm have i I'm out of it at the moment. Wow. Okay. I'll, I'll leave you to think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that round, well, excellent start for Goofy Goobers and especially Mastercard. He killed all three of them. <laughs> Made it look easy, really. Yeah, he really dominated that. He played it well. Played around the corners. Played this, you know, short angles. I'm curious to see it. Worth after seeing that will change yeah, their tactics and uh, take it a little more seriously. Ash did just walk up our stairs and then try and walk into sight. So. I mean, she got a kill, so. It wasn't that bad, but it was quite right. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. I see if they play a bit safer, a bit more tactically. In a very, very default setup so far. From a goofy goobers, this is the kind of setup you expect. In a 5v5, but they're doing it for a 3v3. Too many angles for them to hold. I wonder if maybe they've been open to too much of the site, for, considering it's a 3v3. That is true. Maybe they have the Oryx going round and, you know, going to be doing what he does, his roams. Um, he is in garage. Maybe looking for a spawn peak. Maybe looking for that early kill. Maybe he's starting to feel himself after that triple kill. As he should. They don't seem too aware, they, they seem open to the possibility that he's there, but I don't think they actually know he's there. And, as I said, gets the kill, and gets that early kill. Feeling himself, he's 4-0. Stop looking at me. Oh my god. I can't see. Oryx in classroom, just chilling, waiting to see if anyone else will walk in. Then chill well, muck chilling, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Down goes the Ash to the Oryx again. It seems like he's taking all the kills for his team. We'll see if he'll be their hard carry. It seems like it at the moment. Looks like we might need to check his moss bars after this. Yeah, we'll let, uh, we'll let Jacob do that. 
here's the rest of the expert on such <laughs> exactly. matters. And he goes down to the wall bank. Um, the Nook um, ended his hot streak. Well yeah. played, really, by the Nook. Yeah. It was nice. Now we'll see what she's able to do by herself, on her own. She does have the stealth, so that sh should help her at least keep her a bit incognito. I mean, they should be vigilant. They know that she could come from anywhere now that they're both on site. Yeah. Um, and they should have one person on cars. Oh, we're holding a nice animal here. And Nook been seen by camera, despite the fact that her gadget is built to deny information from and the camera. And she gets a headshot. That was lovely. That was it's cute. Uh, damn, bad timing on her going for her gadget while he peeks. And it's what we call siege timing. Yeah. But I suspect it happens in every game. Very true. Not in FIFA. Never happens in FIFA. That's because Never it's a bad game. Me. It's because it's a great game. Only the greatest game. Can you give an example of a, it happening to you in League? In League? Oh, when you've just checked the bush and then you think it's clear, but. They just walked in, and now you're face checking a bush against three enemies, and you die. Yeah, waste your flash, waste your onions. Sounds like a skill issue to me. It really is, though. <laughs> you should have more map awareness. I mean, she probably knew that you know he was gonna push her there. Maybe it wasn't the smartest thing to do, but she did what she could. It was. It well, was I think good. it was well played by the yeah, Jaeger, it really. It was good from both sides. It was a good attempt. Here we have the very the same defensive setup. It seems. Um, the Oryx. Let's see if Mastercard can um, do what he did that that previous round. And really, he's. I wouldn't say he's. I would say kind of say he's carrying. He's kind of carrying. He's doing really well. It's not that his teammates are bad. Just that. He's definitely carrying. Yeah, he's at the forefront. Well, he's been the first point of contact in both rounds yeah. for his team. It's not. Yeah, it's, but it's, it's not yeah, five kills. She's still gonna be carried. It's true. It's true. And just not trying to insinuate his teammates are bad. It's just they haven't had many I opportunities. I am. That's, that's what I'm saying. His teammates are bad. Damn. Is that <laughs> Mastercard is clear. I have a question actually. Do you stand by my comments I made last week about Castle and being bad? Castle? Yeah. I like castles. <laughs> There's one by Portsmouth, Port Porchester Castle, and you can see it whenever you leave Portsmouth. There's also some on the on the seafront. And like castles the, on the seafront. Yeah, because that's where like you know when like the boats would come in, yeah. in during the World War. Yeah. Winston Churchill stood there. Wow. There you go. I thought that was meant to be for between the rounds. Fun fact. Well, much. you know, just sometimes just you gotta treat bringing us. facts at all times. Sometimes you just gotta treat us. Exactly. You can't help yourself. <laughs> um, let me see Wolf entering the map here with the uh, on a drone, trying to collect as much yeah, information as they can. Finally, being diligent. And Clip droning before entering. <laughs> Let's see if it will do this. Oh. I, I, don't, I don't think he knew that was a drone. No, I don't think it did. I mean, it was used from outside and quite true. far away. True, true. Um, well, at least they got a smoke kind of style of it. That yeah. is, that will prove to be useful, hopefully. It's very helpful. Yeah. It's just a question of whether or not it would come to a point where that's going to be a detriment for the team. Now they need to be careful of MasterCard. Look at him. He's eating them up. He's not he letting them He had a crossfire as well. It wasn't a good crossfire. That's why he was able to pick one off. But even still, I have to wonder how the other players can trade them. I mean, he's just munching them, honestly. Gobbling them up. You're seeing a lot more information from Wolf now. They've realised that they need it if they want to compete with this team. They can't just hope that it's quick and easy like it was last week. Yeah. I think they've realised that Goofy Goobers are taking this seriously. Not very goofy after a while, I guess. I guess not. We see here Sky attention and the Jaeger goes down. He's not dead. Maybe Mastercard is carrying them. Oh, he gets back up. He gets picked up by the smoke. He's not out, so he gets killed onto the smoke. And now Mastercard is rotating, trying to help the Jaeger. And takes the at Well and he cleared them. The Mastercard with the final kill there again. Yeah. yeah. Look at him. Yeah. He's built different. I think he might have got all three kills. I'd need to check the scoreboard to find out. I'm pretty sure the Jaeger might have gone. No. Oh, he yeah, got he all did of get them. the kill. Well Mastercard is him. Another triple. He cleared them.
he's literally built different. He's clear. He's clear of everyone. <laughs> yeah. Wife in the floor. Looks like this might be a great game for Goofy Goobers. I mean, if Mastercard keeps going at it, I yeah. don't think they stand much of a chance. It looks like uh, Wolf realised too late that they, uh, what they were against. Well, it seems like they're going full trap operators oh, here. I don't think it really matters how, how they're playing if Mastercard's going to keep playing like this. It'll be interesting to see how they do on the next map, I think. Yeah, I mean, it'll it also be nice to see Mastercard on attack. See what he can bring, see how he enters the building. I mean, it, clearly they're going three trap operators, so he might have a bit of a difficult time. I mean, he is clearly going to come from the as well with yeah. the Ash. I mean, as he should, if you're if you're dropping eight kills in the first three rounds, uh, you, you should just pick what, what guns are good for you and continue doing what you're doing at the end of the day. I think that's what separates high skill players is players like gun me skill. To like players like Lucas. And it's like when I play with our producer Tom. Yeah. I make sure to pick what I need to pick. Exactly, to carry your team. Exactly. He, he, Tom even like you know he makes excuses for dying. Right? Apparently there was a Dr Pepper bottle chucked his head or something, <laughs> which I don't know where that came from, but apparently that's why he died. So now he fabricates lies. Exactly. Wow. So here we see. You see, we're gonna be watching Mastercard. <laughs> I mean, I think he is the man to watch on Goofy Goobers, to be honest. I think it's man to watch on both teams. It's very true. It doesn't seem like Wolf yeah. has I mean, had It seems like if you want to see the kills, you just need to spectate Mastercard. He's been involved in and uh, run out. almost 90% of them, I believe. A flopped run out, but a run out nonetheless from Capcan. Doesn't get anything. Gets tagged a bit. Mastercard with some warning shots. Seems like they're trying to enter the map. They're being very cautious. Um, a lot calmer than Wolf was that first round. Um, let's see if it gives them better results. Right. Negative, just preparing for the entry, just dancing. As he should. Good preparation needed. Just warming up the muscles. Exactly. You can see that. Oh, Looks like he has a lot of weight to carry on his team. Oh. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna really need to to get those kills if he needs to carry his team. Interesting use of the shield, reverse shield, to watch the trophy. You've got to be careful of any frag grenades though, because if you're caught behind that with a frag grenade, that's good man. Yeah, that means you are just dead. And... Exhibit A? You are a fool. As you just good predicted. Night. As you just predicted. Wasn't careful enough of that, that frag grenade. Must no. not have heard it being cooked. No. And Diana absolutely just just cooked him. Right enough. Yeah, that is not what you want to see from negative. <laughs> Quite concerning. Yeah. <laughs> I have to wonder if he uh, he was warmed up for this game. Yeah. Maybe he needs to do some more dancing. Maybe, or maybe the dancing was the problem. No, dancing is never the problem. I think he needs to do more. Yeah, maybe maybe the vibes were too good. Yeah. Maybe that was it. Maybe his maybe. dancing was just maybe he took the energy out of him. Um. Yeah, he's tired now. Exhausted. Just like just like me. <laughs> well, we see Mastercard here uh, and. Clear. Great shot. Look at that. Just beautiful. Oh. oh nice, nice C4, but I believe oh, it was nice. shot. Uh, that was a good try. It was a nice it shot. Was a very nice C4 attempt, but I think it was shot. Yeah. And a nice shot though regardless. It was a nice shot. Um took I four think. rounds for Mastercard to die. Yeah. Took his it, time. It, it I mean he absolutely cleared curb stomped and just dragged his team. I, I mean I didn't see much from them so I don't it just you know weren't good or if he was just amazing i oh. think he's just amazing um, nine clearly. kills in four rounds clearly that's that's built different it is he is him he is him he's a teammate you want when exactly. you're playing solo queue honestly i wish my solo queue players were that good exactly when i was in a four stack earlier i forgot my random existed i believe they dropped zero kills <laughs> in eight rounds it would be nice to That's see my type of player. Because that, cause that's what I'd be like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, self-aware, as, you, yeah, as yeah. you should be. I believe that we're just going to go to a quick commercial break, but we'll be back in a minute with uh, the second map. First to the finish line, first to the plate when it's dinner time, first to the skate when the shit go 
Doors down in these motherfucking towns to the finish line. Always first to the finish line. First to the plate when it's dinner time. First to the skate when this shit goes down in these motherfucking towns to the finish line. Going into the second game here in Cafe. Expecting more of the same? I mean, there's little reason to think otherwise. I mean, I think it could be closer. Wolf did show us some good things last week, but this week, as I said, they're without their curry. And it's proving to be quite the detriment for them so far. Understandable band there. That was the only operator MasterCard played on attack. I suspect they'll be going after the Legion or Oryx. I believe that was the person who was playing the most on defense. Yeah. I mean, n not only do Wolf not have their carry, but Mastercard seems to just outdo, clearly. I just want to see more Mastercard. That's what I want to see. I agree. It would be nice to see him on this map. Hit some Here clean shots. Can't, can't complain about that. Yeah, very clean. And we have the Sledge Ban again. <sighs> Mail Ban this time, that's different. I mean, it was... Yeah, I mean, it was banned last map, but... Yeah. Um. Taking their time. Oh, uh, it's banned, just that I wasn't expected, yeah. really. C clearly, Targ going after Mastercard. He's the biggest problem they're facing here, so... <laughs> to see Mastercard isn't happy by it in chat. <laughs> I mean, we'll see if it's gonna be a problem for him. From what I've seen, he's just good. So yeah, maybe yeah, it might not matter. maybe we'll bring up his teammates though. You know, maybe they can maybe. use who they want. Maybe. I mean, you know, maybe they're just putting all their focus onto Mastercard. Yeah. That, that his teammates will step up maybe. Hopefully. I mean, they didn't have to step up last time really. No. Mastercard was just that good. Yeah, it was just amazing. Um, hoping to see the same. I see the Amaru pick so. It'd be nice to see him launch into site and drop a 3k, to be honest, but we'll see if he does do that. We see the Warden um, coming out, probably for the gun. Uh, I don't think he'll see much use of his gadget against these attackers. Um, and then the Valkyrie for Intel and the, and the, trap, the trap bar. I mean, I think that the CEO of K9 is watching this and I don't think he'll be happy with their performance so far. Might be a risk of coming unemployed. They Sack them all. This rate. Sack them all. Yeah. Hire Lucas. Whoever the only K9 is, hire my good friend Lucas. <laughs> he is probably the best siege player I've ever seen. I haven't seen much, but yeah, actually hire him a hire Mastercard, <laughs> and then hire Lucas. <laughs> At this point, you might have to. Here comes Mastercard and the Omari. He's yeah. sad enough. He just wants to get in there and kill him. As he should. So that's all I want to see. So we all, everyone wants to see. Yeah. Being slow, being diligent, though. 
yeah. droning, finding out where they are, pretty boring stuff, not the kind of stuff we want to see in the Cobra Cup, but you got to do what you got to do if you want to win. I mean, he's carrying his team. He's We're not seeing some Cobra plays so far though, quite disappointing. And look at that, a lovely clean headshot, <laughs> like, he's just not giving them room to breathe. Makes him probably very confused. Probably very lost. Yeah. I would be. Looked like he was just strolling around the map, having a good time. Then all of a sudden he was dead. Maybe he didn't hear the Amaru. Probably not. Yeah. Well, now they know. So now they, they have to be careful. There are the soft hatches. Uh, the soft hatch, at least. There um, isn't really any powerful ones. No. For this site, specifically. But, I mean, if it's Mastercard, you you don't know what he's going to pull out. To be With honest. the fact that he's brought the Amaru, hopefully we might see a freezer hatch drop. In the next round, if they decide, if K9 decides to go kitchen, that would be nice. He wants to flash and go up. Very brave. But I don't. I think if he does it, he'll die. I don't think. He, surely he's not going to take the risk. We'll see. This is the copper cup after all. You don't know. They're holding. No, he's going up white. So it's as expected. Yeah, it's a one, yeah. I mean, they killed him, but in the meantime, one of the K9 members have died to the Ash. Yeah. Or to the Yana, sorry. And clear. Round over. Looks like Heist is the one popping off, stepping off in this, this time. He's showing that Mastercard isn't the only one. Who but, can I mean, this shot. is the first round Mastercard hasn't got the entry for his team. <laughs> I mean. It's an impressive stat. I think he did. I'm yeah, no, no, sorry. Yeah. I've had. He's got an entry in every single round for his team. As he, he's, he's doing his Five part. rounds played and he's got an entry in every single one. He cannot be shut down. He is doing his part. He hasn't played me yet. <laughs> I don't think he'd be able to find you. Exactly, because I'd be so, I'd be like, like a ninja. By not playing the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically. Fair enough. He can, I'll, I'll play him on the on the FIFA pitch. Then then I'll smash him. <laughs> Big words from a small man. Small man. Talk to Tom about being a small man. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, you're smaller than me, aren't you? That's I could, exactly. So I know what small looks like. Yeah. Small I ain't good as a small. Nah, man. I'm normal. <laughs> I don't average. That's what, yeah, average. I don't know. I don't really care. You consider yourself average. <laughs> You don't talk um, like it. I'm just gonna leave it there. Interesting parkour from Zongan. Showing off his moves. Is that Nightscape? Give us, <laughs> give us some entertainment. Um, from the defenders, we see the Malusi come out. Maybe, possibly, to try and <laughs> slow down Mastercard. Try to slow down yeah, his same entry. Well, yeah. Same entry, right into fire play. With the shotgun. Seems like a set play he likes to do for this side. It paid off last time. Yeah, for um, the first kill at least. We'll see if it pays off this time. I mean, he's going slightly differently. He looks very confident. I mean, Zonkin's in a good position, as long as he doesn't get droned. Well, I might be aware of him now, but... It's a fairly common play. We'll see. So you'd expect someone to be aware of it. I mean, in that position you do have to be careful of Skylight, but I don't think they're worried about that. Well, the power of that position is to deal with Skylight. Oh. You can't be seen from Skullet. We see some frags coming down from below. Heist is playing very well. And yeah. they uh, get Lazy Leopard has finally got his first kill of the game. Yeah, they get two. He's low though. Quick kills. He is low, but anything counts. Oh. Yeah, I mean, oh. Mastercard has, has DC'd. Oh, so not the carry. I think. <laughs> I think they'll try to continue the round without him. And it's going in a 1v2 and we just Looks can't like do it. They, they may have feed us the yeah. master card, but we're going to have to go to a short technical break while we get the player back in. Because uh, it appears his PC has blue screened, unfortunately. We will be right back. For 
And we're back from that uh, short break, or technical difficulties from uh, from Mastercard. It's two 0 to the goofy goobers so far. Maybe he just quickly went and uninstalled his cheats. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. Maybe he was DDoS at this point. It's difficult to say. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't think, expect anything to change. I suspect this is going to be a quick one. Yeah, I mean, it looks like goofy goobers have it in the bag. Already one and up in in the series. Yeah. And they got the best player in the game ever, Mastercard. We see the M870 though. I think K99 for a good chance here now. Don't think yeah, of it. The M870. We'll see about that. We'll see how much it can change. I mean, they're running the cab as well. Yeah, we have the cover. I think they might have the triple shotgun. That would be very. Ah, oh, no, um, LA doesn't. They do not have the triple shotgun. We'll see if we can get any nice interrogations as the attackers I mean, make with, their way. With the way they're playing, I don't think that's very likely. I mean, I don't think so. Mastercard will probably shut it down before it happens, but we shall see. No harm in trying at this point. They're down quite a bit. We see Mastercard just droning, trying to gain some intel. They're still taking this quite seriously, even though they have quite a substantial lead. So. Really, the cup, cup is very important then. Yeah, they need to be the best copper team. Exactly. I think. Um, Mastercard coming in from the top of the map. And negative gets taken The M870 is already off the board. Damn. I think that's game over. Taken Heist out. is carrying this round. If the M870 can't beat him, nothing can. <laughs> taken out on white stairs. I don't even know where he entry. And his fuse as well. <laughs> He's not very quiet. The freezer wall was soft, so some out and taken out just like that with ease. Just a very slight mechanical mistake and instantly punished by the fuse. And we see the Carvedo get killed and two times. Yeah, he seemed very happy with that <laughs> kill. Got taken but, uh, out. but he got punished for being too happy. <laughs> High storms with a triple kill there. Almost. Almost. But he's not quite Mastercard. No. Well, he's got more kills this round. He's, this game, yeah. He's all over him. Any fun facts for us? No, I ain't got none. I ain't got no fun facts at the moment. I'm too cooked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe we'll see the Amari come out in response from the attackers trying to show them that they can do it as well. Maybe. Even though they're losing. Looks like it. Yeah, it would be nice to see it. Trying to prove themselves. <laughs> and Mastercard is on the dock. A little bit more supportive, but probably just for the gun, to be honest. He did get his um, RX bands. Very popular player, especially for the more OG players. Yeah. We'll remember back to the ACOG. <laughs> Good old days. Yes. The legend. We do have the Valkyrie as well for some intel, and the Legion for the traps. Kind of slow it down a little bit. I mean, with these kind of performances from Goofy Goobers, you have to expect that they're probably the favourites for the tournament so far. I would definitely say they're the best team I've seen play so, so far. They, so they Woof won last week, didn't they? Sure. They did, but that was with Tebs. So I'm, I would be interested to see how this match would have went with Tebs on board. Is he the best one on their team? He was. What a shame. It would have been interesting to see Tebs versus Mastercard and see who could carry their team the hardest. But, I mean, it doesn't even seem like Goofy Goobers really need that because Heist came and said that he will prove himself, clearly. Yeah. Well, it looks like Wolf is going for the suicidal route. They have had enough. They have had it. Well, boring end into the game. Officially. Yeah. Very quick. Best of three, unfortunately. Well, they did what they needed to do to get out of the game. They just didn't want to give Mastercard any more kills, I think. <laughs> it's a safe shout to assume that, I think. Um, we got Heist carrying that round. Yeah, Heist did carry. He he did say he, he wanted to prove that it, there wasn't only one good player on the team. So that was yeah, that's game over. <laughs> that was game over. We have an anticlimactic ending there. Yeah, very anticlimactic. They didn't even get a single round. They crossed two maps. Um, they got dominated. They did. But maybe they weren't taking it seriously. We did see on the first map they were quite you know, aggressive and trying to have a bit of fun, but Mastercard said none of that and shut it down immediately. I think, well, who's the other team? I think the other team is getting carried. 
You're yeah. over the other one, boys. <laughs> yeah. He needed... Maybe a third round, he would have stepped up. <laughs> maybe they were just, like, letting yeah, each other... Yeah, the third map, they were letting each other have a moment. Yeah, you know, yeah. They wanted to show each other off, be, like, giving each other a, tra- a chance to shine. It's a shame there wasn't a third map for the final player of their team. No, no. Maybe he'll prove himself next time they play. Maybe, maybe he'll have a chance. It would be interesting to see, definitely. It seems like they have quite talented players. Yeah. I mean, even though they, some of the players like got carried some rounds, they weren't really bringing the team down, so it, it's always good. Not really much to say about it. It's just demolition. Mm. They just got outgunned. It was a complete steamroll, yeah. They did get outgunned. It wasn't many tactics. It was just yeah. headshots. I mean, I saw the champion charm on Potato, but he really didn't have much to say about it. Yeah. yeah. Anything Pro- else before we close out the stream? Probably just biggest sweep we've seen. We'll probably and we'll probably see so far. Yeah, uh, the biggest blowout <coughs> for sure. Yeah. I think. I think that concludes it. To be honest. Yeah, I think that's the end of the week five of the Copper Cup. We'll be back next week at hopefully the same time. And thanks for watching. See ya. Goodbye. Yeah, Stop the way, yeah. But jumping and I hear my name. Grass green until we love. Life is happy, but it's so insane. We must merely make a stride. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah. Lions 
has gone and come The birds have just begun We will always take a stand For the people, for the land Let's go back to Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's not take a road. Savannah. In my heart.